What's up everyone, Alfred D. Lover here. I'm about to bring you back into the Resident Evil Police Station, but I'm going to be on Left 4 Dead, so let's get into this. I just downloaded the map, and I'm going to play through the whole thing for you guys as well. Um, I think it should be in campaigns. Under Last Escape, I think. Alright, I'm playing with bots. I'll put it on advanced and see how this goes. I think I might need to play on local for this. Which is fine. Oh, I was hoping I could use my Left 4 Dead 2 survivors because I have mods on them, which I'll show you after this actually. I'll show you them anyway. Sometimes with modded maps though, uh, they tend to crash sometimes when you can't get like a dedicated server when you're on local. Same with other mods, they con like I don't know if they like conflict with one another or what, but I'm really excited for this. I played this a while ago. I don't think I ever recorded it, so I want to record it for you guys. It's actually a pretty cool but really short campaign. Um, there's someone that actually is making a Resident Evil uh, whole level, I believe, from well, they made it from scratch and they're starting it from the mansion. And I've seen the screenshots; it looks brilliant, almost done. They said they're going to be releasing it in. Uh, I believe February. I think it was said or late January. So if it comes out soon, I'll definitely be recording that. Can't wait to try that out. I hope they use the Left 4 Dead 2 survivors because I got my Resident Evil mods on them because I like the beta mods for my Left 4 Dead 1, so I never switch them ever. So. Resident Evil. It all began as an ordinary day in September, an ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. Look at your I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. I told you! I'm not leaving! Never! That's funny. If... I don't know if you heard the guy in the back of the truck. So this is definitely right out of Resident Evil 3, you can tell. You got a nice warehouse area. Really done well. I believe the... Yeah, it's actually looking pretty damn good. This is a really old map, it has never been updated forever. Um, the door handle's the wrong way. Ooh, herbs. Um, I was gonna pick dual wield, but uh, I, I like having the single, because it's not like you really see them dual wield. Oh, it's the broken shotgun in the locker that's not really there. It's only in Resident Evil 1, but... Uh, could have swore there was key ring, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do this with one pistol. All stars-like. Oh yeah, Bill. This would be so cool to play with someone. Fucking hell. I love Resident Evil 3. It's one of my personal favorites. Charger. So you got the left way, which is directly to where Brad comes out of that room. This way. So far, the optimization is pretty good in this. Usually, custom maps are not done right. Here, Boomer. Reloading. 
day. I went with the all black uh, M9 Beretta. You could get the two tone, like Wesker's, but I went for like the whole Chris look with his Beretta. Watch out, there's a witch. Where are you going? All right, so this is where you see the zombies on that side of the gate. You blow that, but holy fuck! Oh shit, you guys are fucked. Oh fuck! I shot the fucking propane, and that just did me in. Oh man, I shot the propane and shot off the gasoline, and then she hit me. What a bunch of bogus! What the hell? They could play without me? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I guess we're gonna be watching the bots play for a second. Come on, go get me, bots. Look at Lewis, man. He looks badass with those. Oh, cool. You could kind of hear in the background there with, uh, it's supposed to be Brad and Jill fighting the nemesis. Oh, yeah. There's the liquor I got as the hunter. That skin's awesome. I'm loving that. Okay, I don't know where I spawn. So I'm going to quickly restart the campaign so I can play. Oh. Uh, we gotta watch the introduction again. In September, an ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. Damn it. I like the introduction, don't get me wrong, but I didn't want to watch it twice. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. It's kind of cool. I feel like it's like Zoe talking. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's rush this, guys. Alright, I know where I'm going. To the left. Oh, fuck! Guys! William Birkin's fucking me up! Oh, tell me there's a shotgun down here. Oh, there is. The fuck he's got like stalker music, whatever it's called. I think that's the game. Quick, 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 let's rush to the police station. Quick, I wanna see what's over here. The one zombie you kill. They should have put a cop zombie there, not a not the military zombie. So this is where you save Brad. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I man, he did this down to a T so far. Even the doors open and close slowly. Quick, guys. Where the fuck is this bitch? I'll cap a, I'll pop, pop a cap in her ass. You fucking can't crown if it's not normal or easy. You just can't crown. It doesn't matter what. If it's on expert or fucking. Come on, guys. Oh, they're glitching right through the fucking crescendo event. That's not cool. Fucking cheaters. Oh, if they come this way, they're gonna get fucked up! 
Oh yeah, bitch! Whoa! Quick, get in! Yeah, bitch. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's cool! A fucking safe room box. That's dope. And you put health kits. Oh, there's a first aid on the ground too. Look at that. So I could hear what should be Jill fighting uh, Nemesis, because obviously Brad gets fucked up. We all remember the spare that's in front of that in Resident Evil 3, because I do. Oh, the noises is so dope. Nemesis is dead, and there's a tank. Holy shit! Holy shit. Oh, we're in the safe room. No, I want to see what the rest of the map was. Alright, whatever. I bet you there's Brad under the staircase there. So right now we're about to go into the second map, which is, I believe, the last and final map of this campaign. I'm pretty sure there's only a two map. Uh, it's only a two map thing right now because it was uh, originally just a beta. Uh, for people to try, and then it was just like a forgotten part project, obviously, like a lot of the other uh, mods out there. But it's okay, once I'm done this, I'm going to show you guys some cool mods on my Left 4 Dead 2 survivors. Um, they're really old, so when you see them, you're going to you're gonna notice a lot of flaws, and I'll even point them out. But um, I, you'll see what effect I was kind of going for. Oh, sweet, we still get the... What the fuck? Oh, look, his key card. There's Oh, look, there's Brad. See, look, they got their his model here. Why don't they just put that skin on a fucking one of the survivors? All right, so we gotta pick up this key card. Nemesis is gone. This blood is flickering really bad. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear that the Resident Evil music in the background. Maybe if I turn up music, it's all up. So hopefully you guys could hear it. Alright. Alright, so I just used that, and now we're going through here. Because this is Resident Evil 3. That's boarded up, and this is supposed to be boarded up. Alright, we'll go run one room at a time. One room at a time. Let's do this. Let's do this. We'll go through here where Marvin is. Holy fuck. Alright, well, we'll wait for that to burn out quick. Looks pretty fucking dope. Alright, Leon's desk. Where the fuck's Marvin? Marvin's gone! He's released into the wild. Alright. This area's kind of big. They could have put another set of lockers here and just made it that thin. So far, so good. I like the coloring and everything. Okay, this area is way too big. Holy shit. It's not this big. Alright, so that area is blocked off. Ooh, 
found Jill's key card. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's where it is. Shotgun shells. That's where you get the diamond out of the picture. All right, you know what? I'll pick one. All right, I'm picking Lewis. I'm sorry, Francis, but Lewis has always got my back. Don't make me regret that, Lewis. All right, let's go upstairs. Actually, first we gotta check the safe room. Oh, shadowing is fucked. The photo room. Yep, that's dope. That's dope. Everything's done to a T. Come on up. Can you push them? Oh, they're already pushed. That's so awesome. That's so sick, man. It's all these, like, little details. Like, look how awesome this is. This is Left for Dead, man, but don't let it fool, like, it, it kind of fools you into thinking you're not playing that anymore. Barry's desk, which is correct. That is Barry's desk. Chris's desk right across. Look, Jill's hat. Or Bray, not hat. I apologize. Oh, wow. This is where you get the revolver. Uh, this is another mod I have, by the way, guys. It's a... Uh, uh, it's a magnum mod that I got. Um, there's actually a mod to make it a six shot. The only down part about this mod I know is the hammer and the cylinder, I believe, don't turn. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't think it does. But we're going to use this mod. It's got the top rail. Oh, fuck. Do we actually need to get the key for that door? Well, that's well, that's actually out of Resident One, but I assume that was supposed to be the. Oh. That's fucking awesome. All right, so that was Carlos, as we all know. Alright, so now can I go through this door here? No? I don't have the key. But then again, there's nothing... It's not here to pick up. I can't pick that up. Alright, let's head back down. Because I don't think the AI could pick it up. Alright, back down the staircase, guys. Nemesis! Uh, no, I guess not. Shut up, Francis. Not enough walk space there. Alright, so we can't go. Wait, what if I shoot it? Alright, so you actually have to click E on it at the top. Can you go in here, though? No, it's locked. Well, this one you can. We'll check down this way first. It's pretty fucking awesome. Can't go in any of these doors though. There's probably nothing on the other side of them. Look. Oh, look, I can see into the basement. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's just for show, I guess. Still cool, man. Still cool. I guess we're going out of the basement. Kind of cheated there to find where we had to go. Grab those. Grabbing pills. Grabbing pills. It's a fridge. That ain't no safe. You tell me they don't have a safe texture? They gotta have a safe texture. There's one in fucking Left 4 Dead One. I'm pretty sure. Even the green filing cabinet would look better than that. Get away from me! Watch out! Man. See, it's like, I love these maps and shit, I just wish they didn't get left. We are back into the safe room in main hall, which is so fucking awesome. 
that like there's not a lot to really optimize, but even still, even some maps they just have issues. Can you click it? Okay, I, get, I guess you can't click it. I'm asking for a little too much. Hey, there's supposed to be something on the wall here. Okay, that door's locked. Alright, back around, guys. Back around. Look how badass that looks. I don't really care for the top rail, though, to be honest. It's just too big. I, would, I just want a stock revolver. I'll probably switch this. Ah! Die, bitch. What? Holy fuck! Don't tell me what to do, Zoe. Oops, I let go of the wrong button. Look at that revolver in my holster. Alright. Keep a going. This way. So this is before the helicopter obviously comes in then. See I want it, I know where to go, I'm just, you know, seeing everything, you know. Wanna make sure. Can you go through this? Oh okay. That's cool. So you can't skip the map. Wait, this is the end? This is the final map. No! Hold on guys, we're going to the basement. I wanna show you more. We seen that we could go in the basement. There's oh wait. Unless they had it through that way? I don't really know. I don't know. I'm gonna try the door to the basement quickly though. It's right here anyway. If it's not, that means it's the end. Which is a fucking bummer. That's so cool, man. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah. You want some? Die, bitch. Let me get to the basement. Yes, it's open. Oh, yes. Oh, the shutters. Yep. Yeah. And revolver, yep, that's where you get the revolver. Oh my god, RPD! That's fucking dope! It's Leon, guys, he died. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, down here. Where the fucking dogs would be, and the liquors, and... This is pretty awesome. I think there's supposed to be another one here, though. Pretty sure there's two of those. That's awesome, though. Wait, what, what are you looking at, Zoe? You're obviously- Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. Well, at least we know we could go in the parking garage. This is pretty awesome. trying to look at the map. Oh, tell me there's a gun in here. Oh, M60 and sniper rifle. Look at that gun. It's my new sniper rifle. Oh, what the fuck? Here they come. Two M60s? A shotgun that's through the floor? Oh, this is awesome. Look at all this shit. Say hello to my little friend! Oh. Well, that's not good. So what you just seen there was an epic fail on my mod for the M60, I think. The M60 scripts that I got must have conflicted with something and just crashed my game. That sucks. Anyway, we just did see the whole map, so let me just show you this as well because it's also part of it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. No peeking. Everyone keep your eyes closed for a second. Come on, fine. Switch to the streets. The streets. Yeah, so I'm so sorry about that M60 mod, guys. I guess uh, 
that's how you find out when something's broken or not working. It's either this, uh, either the script for the sound or the script for the skin. Um, either way, I'll be removing both and just leaving it stock. Not totally sure what one was on that though, to be honest. It's not like I find the M60 like a lot to even shoot it. Oh man, that pretty sucks. Sucks though because we could have checked out the rest of that. See, we we wouldn't have been able to pre like proceed through anything else obviously because the jail leads you to where Ada is and stuff like that. But you got to see the man, the majority of the map, which is pretty cool. All right. So as you guys could see, what I went for here. These are old mods. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. This is Barry for Alice. Um, the, the detail is there, obviously, but it's a low quality res. Um, they have an HD one, and he actually takes the place of Coach, so he looks a lot bigger, which is more his uh, body type and stuff. But the only problem with that model is that actually it's a big flaw in the model. The HD texture looks amazing and everything, but every melee uh, melee weapon in his hand is invisible, so I couldn't stand it. Um, another thing with the Barry, this Barry Burn mod is that he doesn't have FPS hands, and I believe it's this hand. Oh no, maybe it's not on this one. I think this hand glitches out once in a while, that hand. I might be wrong, but um, he doesn't have first person hands, so as you can see, my picture is Jill, but you can still see Rochelle's hands, but if I zoom out, you can see that I'm playing as Jill Valentine, another STARS member, which is pretty awesome. Uh, she has um, broken textures under her hair, which is green. Uh, it used to bother me a lot, but you know what? It's not bothering me too much anymore. I like I like having this. I'm hoping uh, with the Resident Evil Remastered, someone will bring back those skins. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so that's Jill Valentine. Uh, this is Chris in the Stars outfit. It's the only one you can get. It's the buggiest fucking module. One of the buggiest mods, anyway. And like I said, it's really old. Um, the texture stretches. Uh, when he aims his arm in different ways, it, you can see it goes, it conflicts with his vest. Um, another issue is um, he's got a holster with a gun in it already, which isn't really a huge issue. But yeah, if you can see the gap between the, the vest, you can just tell there's a lot of conflicting in there. The main thing that pissed me off about it was, um, it's Resident Evil 5, Chris, but not just that, it's his eyelashes. If you get them at a certain angle, you guys can kind of see, like, they're kind of out. But, um, you know what, it's the only Stars one that's out right now. I'm hoping with the Resident Evil Remastered, they'll bring back, a, like, bring back an HD version with the original face. Or even if it's the RE5 face, just make sure that the textures aren't stretched and conflicting. But these are really old mods, guys, but I want to play as the Stars group. As you can see here, um, this is one of the newer mods. Uh, this is Coach as Wesker. He's got a bigger body type. Um, that's why Barry's really good to have as Coach, but like I said, the, yeah, uh, there's too much conflicting. Uh, the cool thing uh, is with the newer mods, they're all in HD, so you can tell just the look at the quality of Wesker compared to the quality of Jill. Um, this is a uh, Resident Evil 5 Wesker, which unfortunately they don't have a, a Stars Wesker made, not even an old version. Um, there is one made, but it's for the Fallen Survivor, but it's not made for any of these. Um, the thing is, what's cool is about these newer mods is um, they do facial features and FPS hands. So when I shoot him, you'll see his mouth move. Little sister, you got to learn to shoot. I want him to stop holding his pistols. I want you guys to see, um, as well as a lot of people do with these newer mods. Um, which you'll see once he fucking puts his pistols away. I should have covered that while they were in. He'll, he'll take, he'll put them away in a second, I bet. I'll do, uh, yeah. See how the pistol actually goes into a side holster? That's totally different programming, which is cool because you gotta realize the Left 4 Dead survivors always have their guns on their, on their sides there, like where I have mine. So, um, the newer models, a lot of people actually make the holsters on the model work with the pistols. Which is fucking, I think, brilliant. Like, that looks sick. Um, like, unfortunately, it is the Resident Evil 5 Wesker, but this is the Stars team from Resident Evil 1. There's no Brad, there's no Joseph. We obviously seen Brad in the campaign, but unfortunately, you can't pick him, which is a really big downfall. But, uh, yeah, um, I think. Oh, no, I used to have the Resident Evil 4 ammo pile, but I don't anymore. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys liked uh, this video. I hope you guys like uh, seeing the Resident Evil within Left 4 Dead. Um, if you need any help uh, modding, I have a video which I'll put in the description on how to mod stuff. It's um, it's a really old video I posted, but you know it does get the job done and it still works. So if you guys need help, make sure you check out that video below. If you like this video, please click that like button, share it. I want more views. 
as much as I can get pretty much and uh, I appreciate everyone that subscribed to me if you haven't already make sure to do so if you really like these videos and other videos I've been playing Nosgoth a lot but uh, um, I got a couple other videos I've been thinking about doing this is one of them I want to get done I'll probably do a couple more mods but I hope you guys looking like uh, not looking like let's rewind that I hope you guys like uh, seeing uh, the Resident Evil characters within Left 4 Dead thanks for joining me everyone I hope you guys take it easy and have a great day